Hi everyone, I'm Mariam Namazi. I'm speaking to you again about a wonderful conference that we're organizing during the 11th and 12th of October at a beautiful hotel in London. It's an international conference on the religious rights, secularism and civil rights. And we've got over 50 fantastic speakers and I just want to quickly tell you a little bit about each of them. Of course you know philosopher AC Grayling, there's Amal Farah who is a Somali-born spokesperson for the Council of Ex-Muslims. Uh, she left Islam and has been threatened uh, by her family because of it. There's Amal Grami who is a professor at a university in Tunisia and she was on the front lines of opposing the Salafis who were trying to take over the university and impose gender segregation. You've got the wonderful topless activist from Tunisia, Amina Sabui. You've got my co-workers at Bread and Roses, Bahram Surush and Faribos Puya. There's Benbaz Aziz, who is an Egyptian atheist who was in prison for a year in Kuwait for his atheism. There's Caroline Fouret, she's this fantastic French secularist who has challenged Tariq Ramadan and written a book about him and just, you know, laid him bare for all to see. There's Chitan Bhatt, who's the director of the Center of Human Rights at LSC, and he specializes on Islamist movements. There's Chris Moose, he's a student at LSE um, and uh, uh, an activist of its atheist um, society, who's been harassed and um, even kicked out of several things as a result of wearing just a Jesus and Mo t-shirt. You've got Elham Mania, she's a Yemeni. Um, activist against uh, in defense of women's rights and who promotes a sort of humanist Islam. You've got Faisal Said Al Mutar. He's an Iraqi-born secularist and atheist. Fatou So, she is a Senegalese um, coordinator of Women Living Under Muslim Laws, which is a network that has been defending women's rights for many years. Gita Sahgal, she is now the head of Center for Secular Space. She actually got fired from Amnesty International for criticizing their relationship with an Islamist organization. You've got Hami Takwai, who is the leader of the Worker Communist Party of Iran. You've got Hosan Mahmoud, who's um, Iraqi Kurd women's rights campaigner. Horia Mossadegh, who is a women's rights campaigner from Afghanistan, who, whose nose was broken by the Taliban when she merely picked up her face veil in order to look at material in a shop. There's Imad Habibuddin, who started the Council of Ex-Muslims uh, of Morocco. Ina Shevchenko, who started and is the leader of FEMEN. You've got Julie Bindel, who's a women's rights campaigner and a writer. You've got Qasem El Ghazali, he's a Moroccan secularist and a blogger. You've got Karima Benune, who's written a book recently called Your Fatwa Does Not Apply Here, where she talks about over 300 uh, people who are on the front lines of resisting Islamism. Keenan Malik, who is a writer and author. Kiran Opal, who, is, uh, who started the Ex-Muslims of North America and an activist of the Council of Ex-Muslims. Leila Salim, who spent six years in an Islamic school in Britain, one year in a school in Pakistan, the one in Britain was worse. You've got LCP, which is a multimedia dance company doing a beautiful dance for us. Leela Qobadi, who's an Iranian filmmaker whose films have been banned in Iran. Maha Kamal, who is an ex-Muslim um, and also um, was disowned by her family for leaving Islam. You've got Magdalene Abeda, she's a Libyan women's rights activist. She was kidnapped by the Islamists and her colleague uh, Salwa was recently assassinated in Libya by the Islamists. You've got Mariam Hela Lucas who is an icon, uh, a women's rights campaigner uh, and who is the coordinator of secularism is a women's issue, myself of course. You've got Nadia El Fani who is a Tunisian filmmaker and who's had to leave uh, Tunisia after threats by Islamists because of her film Neither Master Nor Allah. You've got Nahla Mahmoud who is a spokesperson of the Council of Ex-Muslims and uh, a Sudanese um, uh, campaigner for equality and rights. Nina Sankari who is the vice president of the Polish Rationalist Association. Parviz Hudbe, he's a prominent social activist from Pakistan. Uh, Peter Tatchell who is, you know, considered one of the national treasures in this country. Pragna Patel, who's a founding member of Southall Black Sisters. 
Ramin Forghani, who is uh, the founder of the Scottish ex-Muslim group, Randa Kassis, who is a Syrian, who used to be actually a member of the Syrian National Council, but she was excluded for opposing the Islamists. Rumi Hassan, who's an academic, who's written uh, books about multiculturalism. You've got Salil Tripathi, he's an award-winning journalist from India. Sanal Ede Maroko, who was actually who's had to leave India because of threats he's received as a result of exposing um, um, superstition, people who are promoting superstition. Shelley Seagal, she's a um, Australian singer uh, from Melbourne. Siba Shakib, she's an award-winning uh, author. Um, and her, uh, she's written a book where God comes to weep about Afghanistan. Sue Cox, who's faced abuse against um, um, Catholic clergy as a child and who's who's involved now in Survivors Voice Europe. Europe, Tarj Hargi, who is um, an imam in Britain, who's actually started a campaign to ban the burqa in this country. Tariq Fateh, who is a writer and a founder of the Canadian Muslim Council. Taslima Nasrin, a well-known Bangladeshi writer. Terry Sanderson of the National Secular Society and Walid al Hosseini, who was in prison by the Palestinian Authority for a year for his atheism. You've also got Kate Smirthwaite, who will be doing comedy for us, and uh, we're just going to have a wonderful, wonderful time with these speakers, music, dance, comedy, and uh, it's, it's going to be a historic event, so you shouldn't miss it. Get your tickets today.